In this drawing, we are going to make a picture of Joseph in his conversation with the Pharaoh in Egypt. Now, Joseph had this amazing gift that he had received from God where he could interpret people's dreams. So when they would wake up in the morning with this message in their dreams, they wouldn't know what what it meant. And Joseph had the ability to see and understand the symbols that were given in the dreams and help people understand how they would have to change their behavior and their situation based on the messages that came. In this picture, I want to draw Joseph in conversation with the Pharaoh who's going to be sitting on a throne. And in the air around them are going to be the images from his dream. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the ground here. I think um, probably in the place where the Pharaoh sat was a very opulent and lush kind of room. So here he probably had a tile floor of some kind, but we'll, we'll make it just a, a brick red for the moment and we can make it fancy as we go along. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make the throne of the Pharaoh. And most likely that was made out of wood, but with um, beautiful, fancy carving in it. So we'll have the chair be a little fancy. So a nice strong back and maybe have some little carvings there and at the feet as well. And here's where the Pharaoh is going to sit. Now most likely, as it is in in many lands, the pharaoh sits higher than where a person would stand, so he'll also have perhaps a step here that will, a place where he can put his feet when he's sitting in the chair. Make it a little bit fancier there. His chair and his step for his feet. Okay. And here I'm going to put Joseph, who at the time he met the Pharaoh was a very young boy. So he's going to be fairly short in stature. Um, when I draw my figures now, I'm working really hard with this idea of the soul of the child, the soul of the character. So I'm going to use this pink color, sort of a light soul color, just to show. Can you see that? Is it dark enough? It has to be just a little bit light, just enough so you can see it, because sometimes you can't see the soul. So we'll have... Now, when you draw it, you're going to think about how tall he is, right? So you're going to put the head in a place that's above the ground enough so that there's going to be room for his body. And then his body can be fairly square, squarish, right? And then his legs will come out here with his feet. Now you'll see him more as I do him darker. And here I'm going to have him with his arms out because he's going to be explaining to the Pharaoh what he understands from the dream. So once I do his body in pink, I'm going to then put a little bit of red in certain places to sort of show his warmth. Just 
just a little bit of red. So now you can see his he's coming out. Now Joseph comes from a group of people who were from the Middle East. So he's going to have darker skin. So I'm going to give him a nice brown skin. So here he is somewhat naked, <laughs> but he was a slave, remember? He was, he was taken in as a servant. So he would probably have very plain clothes. So we'll give him perhaps just a simple blue tunic. And once it goes over the, the brown of his skin, it will look dark brown and bluish. Just a simple tunic. So maybe little sleeves and then a belt. Nothing fancy. Now he would have sandals on his feet, dark brown here. So I, when I make the sandals, I do his the bottom of the sandal first underneath his feet. Can you see that? And then I just make some wrapping places so that they go around his feet like so, around the back his feet don't fall out. There, little sandals. Maybe make his feet a little darker. They're probably dirty. It's hard to keep your feet clean when you have sandals on. And then let's give him some dark brown hair. So here he is talking to the pharaoh. I might even put a little bit of black in his hair and make it nice and dark. Okay. Then we have the pharaoh, my goodness. Now the pharaoh lives in Africa, so he's going to have dark skin. And the clothing in Africa, especially in Egypt, was very, very much made out of linen. And linen was a plant that they grew in the fields in Egypt. And the plant after time after it grew nice and tall, they would harvest it and and process it to make it into linen, which they would then lay the cloths of linen out into the sunshine and they would turn brilliant white. And the whiter your your clothing was, the more, how would you say, affluent, the more expensive it was because it took a lot of time for the people who made the linen to bleach it out and get, put the um, put the linen in, in ways and places and, and stretch and iron and all the different processes that made this beautiful linen outfit. The sewing process and then we know that the pharaoh wore lots of gold and um, decoration on his clothes and on his body as well. So we want to think about all of that before we draw him. He's going to be sitting here in the chair. He's going to be wearing a, a linen, white linen tunic. So here Joseph has this brown tunic 
brown blue brown and the pharaoh we want him to have a white tunic so one way i could do that is i could use a white crayon but i don't have a white crayon so i have to think about what else i'm going to see here so first i'm going to see his head most likely so very lightly i'm going to think about where he's going to be sitting he's going to be a tall man because this is joseph he's a little boy or young boy he's about this tall from his you know if he were sitting in a chair here's where his bum would be he would be sitting about this tall and so we want to make the pharaoh a little bit taller and so his head will be here and i'm going to give him a light brown to start and i will make it darker as we go and his neck and then I'm going to think he's going to have his his beautiful tunic that we're we don't we're not going to see the tunic we're not going to draw the tunic we we want to just have the paper become the tunic so the background color will come in and create the white of the tunic but then the tunic will come to just above his knees and then we'll see his his feet and legs come out here right so I'm going to just just lightly draw his legs here with his feet, right? His feet on his step because he'll be sitting here. I need to make his step a little bit bigger for his big long feet. Okay, can you imagine? So, so he's going to be sitting kind of here. Right, and he, his arms will be will be um, uncovered, and so then his arms will be also pointing. He'll have maybe we'll put one arm here resting. I know you have to use a little bit of imagination here. It's a little bit hard to understand. So here's his arm. And then he'll have one arm out, like so. And his hand pointing. He might be pointing at something. His head and pointing. Okay. So here we have his head. We have one arm pointing. We have one arm resting on his knee. And then we have his leg and his foot here. Okay. So how are we going to make him seem like he has a tunic on? What we're going to do is we're going to just lightly bring the background around him for the moment. And we can begin to see his tunic. I'm not going to do too much background, but can you see him now? Can you see now? Now I did the background very light because we might want to, you know, change it a little bit. How's that? Can you see that? It's just very light. So now we want to think about his golden tunic, his golden um, necklace and hair hair. He has this wonderful headpiece that he wears, so let's give him his golden necklace. And then he has this beautiful neck piece and headpiece that shows that he's the pharaoh. He has a snake on the front. So it's going to have little blue stones, and then he'll have a snake on the front here. It's also going to be gold, right? And then his
Now, the thing I want to think about is he also has dark hair. So I want to bring his hair. So that we can see that. And then I have a dark brown for his face. he's in profile, you can see his nose. See his nose? So it's just one straight line to his nose, and then it comes in, and then around for his chin. Right? Where's his hand? All right, so now we're going to bring a little bit of blue into his, give him a little belt, into his tunic there. How's that look? A little bit more shine on his headdress. So he also needs some sandals. Let's give him sandals here. Right. There. That looks really good. So what is he going to be talking about? He's going to be talking about his dream here. And what was his dream? He had this dream about First, he came to the river. He had this dream where he was at the river, and out of the river came seven fat cows. So here's his little dream cow, his dream cloud, right? He said, I was at the river, which in Egypt, the big river that's there is called the Nile River. And I was at the river, and out of the river walked seven fat cows. So here's the river. And then the cows slowly died. And it was terrible, he said. He felt as if he had no more control. So I'm here, I'm using a different color blue to make the streaming water. And then out of the river came seven skinny cows. The cows will come out of the river into this grassy land. Now, don't panic. We're not going to make them perfect cows. We just want them to have an idea of cow. So out of the river come these seven cows. And these cows that come out are seven skinny cows. So I'm going to just do simple rectangle, circle, one, two, Three. Now he's coming out of the water, so we might not see him all. Four. Four legs, rectangle, and a small circle. Okay? Seven of them. One, two, three. Mine aren't going to be perfect either. Three. Put one in the back here.
four. It's kind of out of the bubble here. There's one more. Five. See it? Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll put one over here, seven. Now, first there were five fat, uh, six, seven fat cows, and then there were seven skinny cows. And so the thing about these, we're gonna try to make them look skinny by having their, their ribs showing. So they're skinny. Try not to make them too fat. Super skinny cows which when you're a farmer is a really bad thing to have skinny cows. Right, so let's give them some horns here. Horns on the cows. So these skinny cows came out, so he's asking, what does this mean? What does this mean? And so we know that Joseph told him that first there was going to be a time of plenty. And this was shown by the seven fat cows that came out of the river. And then came the seven skinny cows and they told him that there was going to be seven years of famine, great famine, when the people would starve if he had not taken the time to store the grain, store the grain in these big houses. They create, they, the Pharaoh had to build these great storehouses to keep the grain because the first seven years, the grain just grew in such abundance, so much so that he had to build whole new barns to keep all of the grain. But then for the seven following years, he was able to feed all the people of Egypt from those storehouses of grain. So here I'm just filling it in the rest of the blue background. And you can see the Pharaoh's beautiful necklace and beautiful headdress. Right. And his beautiful white linen outfit. Let's give Joseph a little bit more blue here. What I'm gonna do is I put a little bit of purple in the background so that it is a little different from the cloud picture. So step by step, you can create this drawing of Joseph as he tells the Pharaoh about his dream. done. It was great to work with you. We'll see you next time.